In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Choicebox. Let's create a new project. Let's add um, JavaFX SDK library to this project. Libraries, Java. Java FX SDK library. Okay. And rename it to Java FX SDK. 15.0.1 Okay So we have a uh, Java FX SDK and uh, JDK 15 Let's open sample FXML in SimBuilder So we have uh, grid paint Under package call sample and then controller copy. Remove it. Let me use anchor pane. Here, paste it. Should be sample.controller. So Java effect controls, choice box, one button, one text area. Choice box gives us a um, uh, relatively small set of um, uh, list so that we can choose one out of uh, let's say three or ten. Then uh, observe list is a collection of uh, UI controls. Can uh, when something is added or update or selected or removed, we can get the feedback. Okay, so let's say FX ID for choice box CB drink, BTN OK, handle BTN OK, here TA text area summary. Save it. So we can add FX ID to controller. BTN OK. And then TA summary. Now we can add methods. Again, let me change the private. Once you change to private, you need to add annotation called FXML. Once you're familiar with it, you can type it by yourself. Uh, choice box, combo box, list view. Um, you may need to implement uh, one interface called uh, initializable that comes with uh, one abstract method initialize so you can initialize UI controls for example choice box they should have uh, multiple items let's say I'm going to use a string value here I will say uh, CB drink get items dot add first item call item number seven. There are different ways of adding items, so I will add seven and eight. 
Later on, I will show you how to add 1 to 6 with the two different way of adding uh, items to choice box. So TA summary, open text. Here we will say uh, CB drink. And then here we have uh, get items. It's going to return an um, observable list with a string value. Okay, let's use a string level class. Build it. Okay. Let's add PM options. Copy, paste it, add models, JavaFX controls, and then uh, JavaFX FXML. Let's learn it. So as you can see, we have a set item number seven and eight. So two items, seven and eight. Choose one, and then let's say click um, button. It's going to return uh, array, uh, sorry, uh, observable array list in string value. So here we say uh, TA summary, append text. Let's try to get the text value or index value of uh, choice box. So here we call it as a get selection model. That will allow us to get selected item. So CB during get selection mode. Then uh, get selection item, we can get index. Okay. Again, uh, we need to get string value, so we can use a string wrapper class. Enlarge it, seven. Say item number seven, text value, and the index zero because it's a first item. So let's uh, add new line so it can be more readable. Seven, okay, seven and zero, index value. First one is, um, of course, zero. Second one is item number eight, and then index is number one. Okay, so let me add a new line. So when you have a multiple items, you can use different method. CB string get items. You can use add all. Let's say item number five and six. Of course, you can have a five to eight. But let me show you. You can add two items using uh, add all methods. There's another way of adding uh, multiple items. At the beginning, you can declare observable array list string value. Let's say drink list. 
using FX collections and then uh, reporting to observable array list similar to using a list and the array list so we can list item number one number two let me make more space and then item number three and four so this is typical way of declaring um, choice box with uh, uh, observable array list then initialize we have to use a set items according to uh, observable list called drink list so this time you should be able to see number one to eight so number one index one number seven index seven because the first item we have a blank space which is index zero okay so if you look at here in practice we will have a constant called string array of um, string values called drink items that consists with uh, blank space include item number one to four cut and paste it and then here of course this one doesn't change we change to final this should be drink list constants the parameter inside should be uh, drink items let me go down here capitalize drink list that's all this is the um, typical way of using choice box with uh, observable list so when things change you can uh, observe the behavior of a choice box for example if you select the certain items uh, it actually knows uh, which one you select in this case item number one and then item number seven and the index value seven that's all thank you